In today's tutorial, we're going to practice some of the brush strokes and use them to paint peonies. And from there, we're going to illustrate a peonies flower cup. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Teresa. In this channel, I do watercolor tutorials. So if this is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. And um, first, I just want to apologize for missing a video last week. And as mentioned in the um, in the YouTube post, I was quite busy last week, so I wasn't able to finish editing on time. But today, I I am back with a new video, and as promised, it's gonna be a very lovely tutorial, which is how to paint peonies. And as always, all of the material that I'll be using in this video will be mentioned in the description box below. And first of all, I am going to show you different brush strokes that will be used to paint peonies. And highly, I highly recommend you to um, practice this step as much as you can. Um, especially if you are not familiar with painting peony yet or you are a beginner in watercolors. And here is the first one. First, you will use the tip of your brush. First, you will start from the tip of the brush and then press the belly and then back to the tip. And you will have a shape like C shape. And on the other side, doing the same thing. And now you have the first shape. This is gonna be the bedel for the peonies. And the second one is the half bedel. So I am going to start with the tip of my brush and then draw a line and make a U-turn and then back with the tape of my brush just like you see on the screen here and you can also use your brush to manipulate the shape a little bit just like what I am doing here make it a little bit thicker or thinner depends on the um, size of the peonies and now I also practice the same brush stroke but um, paint it in uh, the opposite side and next is the um, very simple and um, organic shape I would say and these are the shape that represent for the uh, bedel that stay in the back where you cannot see the full or even half shape or all you can see is just a little bit of the top of the petals um, and yeah and that's that's our of the brush stroke for the uh, petals and now move on to the leaf leaf is quite simple and easy um, it's also similar to the uh, full petal shape but you can make it a little bit rounder and more pointed at the uh, top and you can try with different direction as well and that is it for all the brush strokes um, so this is very important so I highly recommend you to practice it as best as you can and especially it's kind of relaxing to do this step as well and now I'm going to show you how to paint the peonies uh, as you can see I start with a pencil and start drawing two circle um, and um, these two circles are going to have this, the same center at the bottom and from that center, uh, I am going to paint the petals and now I am going to uh, paint off the shape that we have practiced earlier as you can see here on the screen remember all of the petals will have the same center and um, using the um, organic, um, I'm not sure how to describe the shape, to close the circle. Um, and this shape represents for the uh, petal that stay in the back where you can see a little bit um, the top. And also at the bottom, you can also add some more petals as well. And for the outside circle, you can also add it is also for um, adding um, some of the petals as well so um, as you also see a lot of uh, photos of peonies online you will know that peony is the flower that has a lot of petals so um, this is a loose watercolor tutorial so we not tend to paint every petals that we can see in the photo it's just um, 
following the ship and uh, the form of peonies. And that's how you paint a peony, a loose peony actually. And now I'm just kind of adding the uh, leaf and the stem. And now we have a loose watercolor peony. And um, so you can practice with the two pencil circle just like what I just show you. And it's, um, it's easier that way and it gives your flower more rounded and um, it's easier to have a guideline, I would say. But when you once you get used to it, you can also um, don't need the the um, the circle line anymore. You can just um, paint directly off the brush stroke and um, turn it into a peony, just like what I am doing here. And here is the way that I am painting a peony butt. Um, it is even simpler than the uh, peony itself, as you can see. But make sure that you also leave um, some of the negative space uh, so that it doesn't look like a blob. And also add some of the uh, darker tones so um, this can have a high contrast and uh, the form can uh, and then you can see the form clearly so at this point it's pretty much done and you can stop here if you like the look of the peony but um, because of this this is a tutorial for ink and wash so I am going to add um, ink uh, for the next step I am using micron pen size 002 and what I'm doing is just a very simple just adding um, just um, outline the shape of the peony and that's it and you don't really have to ally every shape every um, brush stroke in the peony just a couple of them and leave some of them at ease and I also add some of the sh um, shading at the um, bottom of the petals and when you add the shading lines make sure that you follow the shape of the petals um, uh, it's gonna help with the form and also it's gonna make the um, the contrast more noticeable. I love ink and wash because this kind of painting is kind of spontaneous, sketchy and uh, very relaxing to do. You don't really need to paint the perfect shape in the beginning with watercolor paint. Even if it's not perfect, you can always outline with the ink and that will help to shape the form of the object as well. And it's gonna add a little more inches into the painting and that is the reason that I like it and I've been doing a lot of this kind of painting lately. And now, as you can see, I go back with watercolor uh, and add uh, more layer into a certain part to um, add even more contrast for the painting. Um, if you may notice, um, I mention a lot about contrast because um, the contrast is something that makes the painting more stand out and something that attracts the viewer. And finally, if you want, you can add the statement of the peony by using the pants as well. Just like what I am doing here. Just add a little different size of uh, black dots and that's it. And the same process will apply to the peony bud. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to paint peonies in ink and watercolors. I try to break it into brushstroke and shapes so that it um, will be easier for you. Uh, so I hope that it makes sense and it helps you to paint these lovely flowers in an easy way. And next, I'm going to show you how I use all the things that we've just practiced um, and make them into an, a lovely peony uh, flower illustration. And now I'm going to use the Paul Rubin uh, watercolor paper block. Um, I've been using this um, a couple of times and I actually love this paper. And the painting on the screen is the tutorial that I just did. Um, it is my latest tutorials. If you're interested, link will be in the um, top corner. And now I'm just going to remove this and um, start a new page. 
And as always, before any painting, the first step I always do is to pick out a color palette. Not only because it's quite a relaxed thing to do, but it's also help with your painting. A um, harmonious color palette will help your painting will help your painting stand out a lot. So for this illustration, I am using mink and mix it with a little bit of yellow or orange to have a um, slightly different shade for a different peony in the illustration. And the same for the leaf, I also have um, uh, probably two sh different shades for the leaf as well. And yeah, and that's it. Um, and now I am going to start with the illustration. Um, so I want to show you this part so that um, I can share with you the idea of how you can um, turn of what we just learned into a full flower painting. Um, but if you already have an idea in your mind, feel free to do it your own way um, because there's just so many different ways to uh, paint a um, flower painting and um, there's just so many compositions that you can do. Uh, I have to be honest, I'm not really an expert in um, composition. Um, sometimes I find it's pretty tricky for me too, but if this is a sketchbook painting, um, I suggest that you just have go with the flow and see how it turns out. Just let the result surprise you and don't focus too much to be perfect. Um, and the other tip I want to share is um, instead of in, in terms of composition, you can also go on Pinterest and look for flower watercolor flower painting and it's gonna show a lot of paintings um, from different artists and you can um, learn the composition from them not to copy but to learn from them how they compose a flower arrangement and yeah that's pretty much just what I want to say for this tutorial now I am going to let you enjoy the rest of the video and finally, I hope that you like this tutorial and uh, you find this helpful. And if you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That would help me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will post new tutorial every week. And now, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye!